Okay, yeah. tell me what you just said. You're not a what? You are. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You are definitely a youper. No. Okay. We are taking a drive along the lake shore. I don't know if you can see the lake through the trees there, but it is definitely there. And as we're driving, we're noticing the people and how they're dressed today. And I wasn't recording, but it was so funny. I thought I'd get the camera out and maybe we'll catch some of them. There was a guy driving and he had his left leg hanging outside his window. Now that would have been funny if I'd recorded it. Instead, you just get to hear about it. Some people are dressed with, um, oh look, it's the police. Some people are in shorts and swim gear, and other people have long sleeve shirts and sweaters, like me. <laughs> and the uh, temperature was only supposed to be up to 50 today, but 50 in the spring definitely feels warmer than 50 in the fall. Maybe we'll see a bit of the lake when we get over this hill, except there are cars in front of us, so maybe not. Yeah, I ripped the foot out of his window, that's right for years. Is his foot still out the window? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Can you see that? <laughs> so the guy behind us probably saw me turning my camera around trying to record him, which I don't think I succeeded in doing, but I tried. <laughs> oh, there's the lake. We almost missed it. Such a beautiful day. Oh, and the windshield's really dirty. <laughs> this is spring in the UP. It's kind of barren looking here. <laughs> so we've just been driving around exploring, <laughs> getting some drive time in. This road is pretty bumpy. Uh... <laughs> oh, and there's the sign for the bump. <laughs> I wonder how bad it will be. Where is it? They gotta give you a little notice. Oh, that couldn't have been it. It must be this big bump up ahead here. <laughs> how do they differentiate? It's all bumps. <laughs> Cemetery here. Look at that. Wow. Alright, so we'll turn right wherever that is. It must be right here. Yeah. Some of these roads are kind of hidden. You don't know they're there until you get to them. I don't know if this is the right one. <laughs> it looked like it. Wow. That's a big cemetery. Is that, that must have been where we went um, on Halloween for that class. Yes. learned about the different symbols on the, the grave markers. Okay, we'll take a left here. This is not the right road. Let's back up. <laughs> oh, I think my... I don't have anything to wipe it off with. Oh. oh. 
I think that's better. My lens was dirty. Wow, I think this was buried out here from when we had rabbits and the kids would come out and, boy, that plastic lasts a long time, and take carrots to the rabbits. I thought I'd just pick up some of the trash that's unburied after the winter. How it gets here, I don't know. I should have brought a bag. I didn't realize there was so much out here. Oh, yeah. This was from the rabbit pen. <laughs> It's been several years since we've had rabbits. We found out that one of our children, um, not, uh, n not just being in the room, contact allergy. So you touch the rabbit and then, oh, eyes would swell up. And so when the last rabbit passed away, we didn't get any more. Plus, Dale was supposed to, I say this in jest, he was supposed to build us another rabbit hutch. <laughs> he built the first one. And he did a really good job with it. So I kept telling him, Dale, you gotta come build another hutch for me. Now that won't happen, but can't have rabbits anyway. Don't want kids' eyes swelling up or anything. And we found that over time it got worse. So that's why we don't have rabbits anymore. Good boy. Yeah, I've got trash here. Look at that. I'm just picking up some trash. Oh, he's gone. So, Wilder and I, there he is, came out here. He took the trash down to the road, and then <laughs> I wanna, I'm proud of him. For the very first time, he, he heard the neighbor boys, and he started running pell-mell for them. And I said, Wilder, I said, leave it, leave it. He kept going. I said, Wilder, sit. And he, he turned around. I said, Wilder, come. He came running back to me. That's the first time he has been able to resist the neighbor kids out there. So look at this. We're going to let the geese out. It rained last night on it. And I'll have to wait for it to dry out. We got that for the geese because this time of year is when she starts laying eggs and nesting. They're so loud. Can't talk. Wilder, come. Good boy. Oh, we've been practicing this. Oh, yes, I give him little treats when he comes, so I have to keep little treats in my pocket. And he knows they're there. I keep this little, I need a new baggie now. This one's kind of worn. It's just dog food in there. It's actually Piper's dog food because we've got adult dog food for her. <laughs> and for Wilder, we have puppy chow, not puppy chow, puppy food. It's not puppy chow, but <clears throat> nevertheless, she loves his food and he loves her food. <laughs> anyway, it's what he loves, so he comes knowing he'll be rewarded. Right, Wilder? What'd you find? You? You're on the trail. What'd you find? beautiful day. It was really foggy earlier this morning. It's a little bit of fog left. When the sun comes out and dries things out, we'll go and take the hay and put it in their box. Maybe we'll get, I don't know, normally she starts laying eggs. Well, about this time of year, it's, it's April, the beginning of April. What is the date today? Six? Seven. April... Oh, 8th. It's April 8th. Um, yeah, it's about the time she starts laying, but usually we're snow covered still. So uh, she may be laying eggs off in the woods somewhere, and we just don't know. Okay, Wilder took off. I gotta find him. Oh, cute cat. I'm introducing my grandchildren to the world of squinkies. What are the other things called, Erica? I can't hear you. Sorry. Look at these little animals. Aren't they so cool? Aren't well, this they? one's kind of scary looking. Yeah, <laughs> scary looking. Okay, look at this here, I have a question for you. Pop. What do you think this is? Oh, uh, I don't know. I think it's a pasty. Not me. Not you. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Piper. Come on, guys. Keeping a watch there. Okay, yeah. tell me what you just said. You're not a what? You bird. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You are definitely a youper. No. What's a youper? It's something that lives in a different place. No, in this place. No. In this place. No. In the Upper Peninsula of in Michigan. The tennis racket. Ooh. Boing, 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 boing. So we're. No. Okay, we're playing squinkies and one broke or whatever these things are, I said, I can super glue it together. Well, the super glue dripped and it's stuck to my finger. I'm in a bit of a quandary. I'm hoping, I don't want to just rip it off. It's really stuck on my finger. I'm going to get some nail polish remover and see if that works. Okay, so here's my finger. Here's the nail polish remover. Uh, I don't have anything to hold my camera. Let's see if I can do this. I can't do it. Oh. <sighs> it's a quandary. I'm going to pour some nail polish remover on it. And I hope it works because it's really stuck tight. Come on, you can pour out of there. Okay. <laughs> it's still stuck. I mean, look at it. It's Oh, yes, it worked. <laughs> This is so exciting. I looked out my door. I looked out it earlier today. There was nothing to see. I looked out it now, and do you know what I saw? Okay, we got we got to go down for this, like way down. It's so exciting, though. It's worth it. Look at that. The first crocus is spring is here. Yes. Oh, they're beautiful. Beautiful crocuses. They're so pretty. Check out this frog I got. It's really heavy. I think it's a doorstop, but it sits in my garden, this other frog.